Hey, like Star Wars Gamer. Um, today I'm coming at you with another um customs uh showcase. Um, today I'm coming at you with two minifigs. Um, these minifigs are gonna be included in um Vardos, um the mock I've been working on. Um, one thing I need to mention about the mock is tomorrow, um, or actually probably later today, is gonna be the um final segment. Um. So, I said that I might do another segment, um, last weekend, at week three, um, but I just thought I'd do the final segment because there wasn't much I needed to do, um, I just need to add a few more details, um, and plus I wanted to have a lot done for the final reveal, um, so stay tuned for that video, um, I apologize for not doing it yesterday, I didn't have enough time to work on it, um, but it will be coming today, so don't worry. Um, but here's this video. Um, I decided to post this video first um, with the, these two minifigs because they're going to be um, included. Um, and I needed to do this video before the final reveal so you guys could see um, what they looked like and such. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so we're going to be starting off by taking a look at Garrick Versio. Um, this is Aiden Versio's father in the campaign, so I'm going to include him in the mock. I told you I would include him. I can't remember what segment it was. I'm pretty sure it might have been the first segment or the um, new project announcement video. Um, you should go check those videos out to get caught up if you haven't seen those. Um, so this is Garrick Versio. Um, basically, so he's um, Aiden Versio's father in the campaign, so he's the... He's an admiral in the Imperial Army. Um, so basically, what I used for this minifig is I used um, this uh, clone stormtrooper type face. Um, and then I used um, this Imperial Technician hat that I got in the... Um, I believe it was the Imperial Battle Pack set. Might do a review, like I said. Um, uh, and then I used Director Krennic's body without the cape. Um, with the same black gloves on both hands, um, so that looks pretty good for this minifig, because he was wearing something similar to this, and then I used, uh, plain black pants, I got these with Krennic, but you can use any black pants, um, so that completes this minifig, um, hope you guys like this minifigure, um, he's gonna be a nice addition for the mock, I'm definitely gonna need him in there, because he is probably gonna be a big part in the campaign, um, so now we're going to move on to the next minifig. Um, I'm sure you guys are more excited about this one, because um, this one's probably the more interesting one, in my opinion. Um, I mentioned that I would do him in um, another video, um, the um, Imp Emperor Sentinel droid. Um, so basically what I did for the Emperor Sentinel droid um, is I used um, a Royal Guard body. I got the ones from the Death Star set. So I used a um, Royal Guard body, and then some plain red legs, and then I used um, some black gloves. And then what I used is I used the same red cape that came with those uh, same Royal Guards, so that um, is a nice addition. And then underneath this helmet, I used the um, Emperor Palpatine head from the Death Star, like the old one. Um, I have the new head, but I personally like the older one better. It just seems better to me. Um, plus, I think it goes with the Sentinel droid better, like, because it kind of looks grayish and kind of dark in the, um, in the trailers and everything. So that's what I used for the head. Um, now, the helmet was probably the more difficult part to make. Um, so what I did for the helmet was, um, this is a, uh, plain, or a red helmet, but this is, like, a race car driver helmet. Um, I could not find a plain red one, but I will probably try and find one, um, and probably try to include it in the final reveal, um, but this is what I had to use for now, so just pretend that this, um, designs and everything on the top aren't there, and then I got one of these, um, glass, uh, like, dome pieces, um, I think, um, these are from, uh, this type of helmet, um, so this, um, fits right in there, I got this from, uh, this is from the Mr. Freeze helmet. I can't remember what set, but that's um, where the visor came is from that helmet. And But then I put it on this red helmet, like this. Um, 
So that simply hooks on. It's a little difficult to get hooked on, but it still works. So it gives that nice dome feel for the helmet because it's a um, droid after all. So it kind of covers up some of the designs, but there's still some on the back. Um, so that is something I will probably need to change. Um, so that just simply goes on the head like that, and it completes the Sentinel droid. Um, now, if you're not f familiar with the Sentinel droid, um, so after um, Palpatine's death, um, he re pre-recorded a message um, before he died, and it's basically giving the orders for what's going to happen after the Empire, um, like uh, future orders if the Empire is starting to fail. So this is um, where Aiden gets the orders from in the trailer. So that is why um, I included this in the mock. Um, so these are both um, nice minifigures to include because they're um, basically what I need to include in this mock. Um, so those are the two minifigs um, for the Vardos mock. Um, decided to get this video out there because I didn't want to do this video after the mock because then um, it wouldn't really do much good because you've already seen the mock. Um, but here they are. Um, so now you know um, what they're going to look like and everything before I do the final reveal of the mock. So um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for the final reveal. Um, so this has been the Lego Star Wars Gamer. See you later, guys.